All right, it was good. Uh, good to get uh, playing last weekend. You know, I thought you know, anytime you get a chance to go on on a road, we had nine new guys and just kind of learn how we we do things and um, playing a really good opponent. You know, I thought the first night. Um, was probably a little bit what you'd expect of early season hockey. I, I really liked us to start. I thought we took some penalties in the second, obviously, that made it tough on us. But in the third, we got to our game. I thought we played really good in the third and um, carried it on to the, the next night. So um, it was a good first weekend for us. Definitely some uh, areas to keep improving. And then looking forward to, you know, uh, hosting Boston College this weekend. Obviously a storied program. And for us, you know, our 50th year of Mon, and um, I'm sure the building will be rocking. It'll be a fun atmosphere. We've talked to some of the players about this. When you look back at the BC series last year, strange as it is, do you think that helped the success you had, what happened there last year? No doubt. I mean, I think um, that's the goal every weekend, right? You want to find things out about your team. We found out, you know, some good things and some things we needed to work on. And I think after that, um, you know, we, we want to stretch there. I don't think we lost in regulation until January, you know. So, um, yeah, I think that's our job as coaches to put our team in positions to to, to challenge them. And, and um, we're, we're excited. I, I do think it's important. We've talked to our guys. Like, we want the mindset. Like, every weekend's important to us. And any time you get a chance to put on our jersey, that's a, that means a lot. And so um, our guys are excited to play and looking forward to the weekend. Coach, you had Charlie up in that top line, obviously with the ward out. Can you just talk about him and how he meshed with Isaac and Russell in that top line last weekend? Yeah, I thought he did a great job. I thought he played really hard. And again, he's 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 a young player, but it, you know he's got to play like a power forward. And I thought we saw that this this weekend. He's uh, physical with the puck, physical without the puck. Um, he did a really good job on the penalty kill. You know, one of the things I think Charlie's really good at is um, he's he's got a knack in front of the net and being a really good net front guy. So I think um, it maybe didn't show up on the on the score sheet as far as. Um, but the amount of times he was in the goalie's face and made it hard on their goalie, that makes for a long night. So I, I thought it was a really good weekend for him. Adam, with the overtime game to start, is that maybe better for you going into something like this that you've been in a situation like that and playing a series like this is a little bit like Izzo in the Champions Classic. He's got number one Kansas right at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, I think um, that's what's great about uh, hockey. It's a, it's a long year, and you, you want to try to, you know, expose your players to as many different um, situations. And obviously, uh, you know, three-on-three three hockey is a different one we haven't done as a group. And I even think the way that our guys st stuck with it, you know, I think that's important. If you want to be a good team, um, you know, we were really good in the third there, but the puck didn't go in, and that's going to happen sometimes. And um, you got to focus on things you can control, and um, that's playing as a team and an effort. And, um, detailed and you know I thought our guys did that in the third and then get rewarded with a win I thought that was that was really good and then yeah I mean I think you, you know Tom's obviously done a great job scheduling I think that's really important is is um, you know you, you really gotta if you want to be be one of the top programs you gotta play the top programs right and so um, that's certainly the thought process of, of adding uh, Boston College. Yeah, did, do you know last year is is tough as that series was and as maybe humbling as it was in certain ways did you know also then that you had a team that was capable of doing the run that it, that it went on, or was that something that you you found out later based on the response? Yeah, I think the response, right? I mean, they responded really well to it, and you know, even the mindset afterwards wasn't wasn't woe was me. It wasn't tripping over your lip. It was um, obviously not good enough and need to get better. And that's um, that's our job as coaches, and and also for the players to recognize it and look in the mirror and say, hey, this is this is not to the standard we we talk about being as a team, and. Um, so yeah, for sure, that, that was a that was a great uh, learning lesson for our group, and um, you know, hopefully, we can carry some of the things we learned into this weekend. Adam, the difference in playing Boston College now here after what you did last year, as opposed to going there before you had had the season you did. Um, you know, we're excited about having a program like them in our building, you know, and our fans have been awesome and, and, and you know, there's no seats and uh, that's, that's a great, great thing. And, um, but they're, they're a program that's played in a lot of big games too and, and, um, and, and a proud program. So they'll be ready to go here, but I, I, do, I do think it's awesome that our, our fans get to see hockey like this this weekend. Coach, you mentioned how it took the first two periods to kind of get the early season jitters out. BC didn't play this weekend. Uh, 
uh, against anybody, not even an exhibition. Do you think you kind of have an advantage, at least on Friday night, knowing you guys are coming in more comfortable, kind of more set in your ways? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that was just, you know, both teams excited to play, and I think that'll be the case here, too. This, I think both teams are going to be really excited to play. So, um, you know, I, th their coaching staff does a great job. They're going to be ready to go, and, and you know, we feel like we've had a good couple days here at practice, and we have two more good ones we'll be ready to go, too. When you have a week of practice ahead of a big series like this, how much of it is kind of catering to what you expect out of Boston College and getting the guys ready for that versus just getting your guys to play like their style of hockey to the best they can? Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of the things we've tried to do as a coaching staff is, you know, focus on us, you know, and we're, we're trying to take a long-term approach to our guys' development. And so they, they got areas to keep growing in their game and um, regardless of who we're playing, you know, and so... You know, our approach definitely, we, we studied, you know, Boston College and a ton of respect for all they play, but we also got a lot to work on in our game. And I, I think you can sometimes go down a rabbit hole of focusing so much on the opponent and you, you forget to focus on the most important thing is that's your own team. Uh, Coach, you had Lucas Shea. Oh, oh, what, what do you not know about your team yet? Like, what are you looking forward to learning and what can a series like this, can it, are there things that can tell you that you don't know yet? Well, I think, you know, you're going to be put in tough spots, right? And so how do you, how do you respond? And I'm a big believer in that is, um, you know, not being too high or not too low and um, how you respond after getting scored on, how you respond after scoring a big goal. Like those are all things in, um, you know, play, playing at home and learning how to, how, you know, how do you create momentum in your own building? I think that's, um, it can't just be from scoring chances and um, it's got to be from other areas. And we got a smart hockey crowd. So, um, you know, I think all those things are, are, are things that, uh, you know, our, our group's got an opportunity to learn. Coach, you had Lukashevich and Andrews together, two of your new blue liners playing as a pair. Kind of just what did you think of their performance at Lake State and kind of moving forward? I thought they did a good job. I mean, Nick's played a lot of college hockey, right? So he's got a ton of experience, and Vlad is a freshman coming in. So that's that's the hope there with that pairing is you, you got some experience with a with a young player. And I think for Vlad is just getting used to the speed of the game, right? It's a, it's a big jump from the, the from the USHL, and he was a really good player in that league. But now all of a sudden, guys are on top of you. You, you have less time and space, and, um, and and you know Nick's got a calming presence to him. So I think that that, that combination we, we hope is going to be a good one for us. Coach, can you just kind of talk about what you saw from the special teams this weekend going perfect on the PK, even though maybe not really finding anything on the man advantage? Yeah, penalty kill. I mean, that's pretty common early is the, the penalty kill usually starts out ahead of the power play, right, as there's maybe, um, you know, the, the, the power play still sorting things out. I thought, uh, you know, Jared DeMichael runs our, our penalty kill, does a great job. I thought they had a great plan and and went out and executed, especially a five-minute major. Like, we had, to, we had to kill for a while there. You know, in the power play, it's, it's less – you know, obviously you want to you want to score, but you're looking at if you don't score, creating momentum for your team. And I thought I thought both units did that for us. How much personal pleasure do you take in the fact that by the time you get to this 50th anniversary, by the time that, you know you get this packed house for what would have been packed regardless of the opponent, but it, it is BC that you've got the program where it is, and that the the program you're showing off and putting on the ice is is what it'll be. Yeah, we're excited about the direction of it, you know, and I think there's a ton of people that it goes into it. I mean, there's obviously it starts at the top, Al on the way supports us and Jen Smith and um, our whole staff. We got we got a we got a great staff that invested a ton of, of time in it. The players even back to our first year that have that bought into how we wanted to do things and in last year and um, and our alumni group, you know, I think that's, you know, f for our, our whole group, I think we're, we're definitely proud, but we're, we also, we want to keep getting better, you know, and I think um, anytime you think you've arrived, that's probably, you know, that's not a good thing. And so this is a, this is a hungry group. We feel like we still got a lot to prove, but we're also, um, you know, proud that Munn sold out, proud that um, our alums are back and hanging out and around the rink and, um, you know, excited about, you know, having a big weekend this weekend. Good. Thank you.